What's going on? Josh Pocock here. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at Coge AI, where you can merge AI with your brain. Coge is the open source AI co-pilot for search. Easily get answers without having to sift through online results or your own notes. You want to build an AI second brain? Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so Coach AI, this is the link to their website. Um, you can see connect your knowledge, replace your search engine, work hands-free, come straight into context, um, engage anytime, anywhere, etc. So there is a um, there is a cloud version and a uh, self-hosted version. I'm going to show you how to get set up self-hosted, and there's a Discord GitHub here if you want to check it out. Links for this will be in the description down below. All right, they also have a desktop app, as you can see right here, like, hey, how's it going, right? And you can talk to the Coge AI right here. Now, keep in mind, with the desktop app, it is using the uh, Cl Coge Cloud. So I think there's a free version. Uh, I guess it's actually, yeah, so there is a free version right here, and there's uh, additional paid versions. I'm not going to be buying this tool. But uh, if you want, I mean, for whatever reason, you could. But I'm going to show you how to self-host it. So uh, if you saw my video yesterday, we covered a tool called LobeChat. I've covered a few tools that may be similar to this. But LobeChat is another tool that is essentially an uh, AI second brain. It's a pretty cool tool. Definitely re recommend checking that out in my video yesterday. But uh, if you saw that and you're wondering what is better between these two, I'll kind of give you uh, somewhat of a comparison. Not that this video is meant to be necessarily just a comparison video. Um, and yeah, if you didn't see that video, then you'll kind of get a sense of which one maybe uh, would be right for you. Okay, so here's the GitHub repo. As you can see here, you can share your notes and documents to expand your digital brain. Your AI agents have access to the internet, allowing you to incorporate real-time info. Uh, Coge is available on desktop. Uh, you can share PDF markdowns, org mode, Notion files, and GitHub repos. You'll get fast, accurate, semantic search on top of your docs. Your agents can create deeply personalized images and understand your speech. And it is open source and self-hostable as always. All right, so here's kind of what the user interface looks like chatting with it. And I'm going to show you how to set uh, things up. So links to the uh, docs will be in the description down below. Um, as you can see here. We're just going to go to self host and you can self host this with docker so i mean there's different options you could do pip um and i think there's some more options but we're going to use docker just because it's very simple so if you don't already have docker installed go install it i think there's a link right here to help you with that but it's fairly simple and then you're just going to git clone the repo um so you're going to go to your terminal and you're going to run git clone and then the repo link which will look like this all right so i'm in my repo and I, or i'm in my uh, terminal I'm going to grab this link and i would go git clone right here all right so you're going to run that and I'm not going to do it just because I already have it. But once you do, you would go CD Coge. All right. That would just change directory into Coge. And then what you would do is you would simply, you would actually just Docker compose up. Now, before you Docker compose up, I will say one thing. If you do open up the, um, if you open up the file or the folder right here, for example, this is the folder. As you can see, um, I'm opening up the docker compose.yaml file right here. And let's just see here. So you could change a few things here if need be. You don't you don't have to, but for example, this is your coach admin email and password. So if you actually want something a bit more secure, obviously, then username and at example.com and password, you can do that, but just for um, you know, just for these purposes right here i actually just use this so if you don't change it you're going to use that to sign in and then all you're going to do is run the docker compose up right here and that is going to spin up your code um instance on your port 42110 okay so it's going to take a couple minutes once it's done you can access it here so once you access it here um you can log in 
now there's a front end side and then there's a back end back end side so the administration um side hosted with django so let's just see here what you're going to do is you're going to configure your admin uh so if you scroll down you'll see configure so it gives you different um settings that you can configure so just right off the bat to be quite honest like just from doing a video of lobe chat yesterday and now this um it, this part of it is something i've ne just truthfully i really don't like like if i was to use one of these tools on a day-to-day -day basis just for this purpose alone where it's like you have to do this extra part in the back end it's kind of annoying to me maybe uh maybe some people don't mind it whatever the case may be but basically like and an, from having to you'll see in just a second when i show you what you have to do but this part is just not as as uh easy to do as something like lobe chat where you can easily just connect it and then you can change the model there so that's what i like about lobe chat opposed to code right here but uh if you go to localhost colon uh 42110 forward slash server forward slash admin this is what you're going to get it's going to look like this you're going to see all the different stuff you're going to see your agents your chat model options your client apl applications conversations entries github configs notion configs open ai processor processor conversation configs um server chat settings search model configs and a bunch of different options right and like this is the thing like to to use um a lot of these or most of these you have to kind of go back in here and start changing different figs around so like so for example if we go to open ai processor conversation configs you can see this is what you would have to do you would go add open ai processing conversation configs then you would name it and then you would put the api key here and then you would put the api base url here right so if you're familiar with like connecting um any sort of uh ai whether it's anthropic claude olama whatever the case may be this is what you would put here so for example if i go here with olama you can see the base url is localhost colon forward slash one one four three four um and in the uh docs right where is it the docs right here you can actually see it goes over um so configure open ai chat so go to OpenAI settings, um, add the OpenAI processor and conversation config. This is where you will set your API key and API base URL. The base URL is optional. It's only relevant if you're using OpenAI compatible proxy server. Go over to configure your chat model. So you would go right here. Okay. And then once you go here, um, set the chat model field to support a chat model uh, of your choice so, so i'll leave this specific link down below as well this is the specific olama setup so if you want to use this with olama models um you can basically you know use any offline model essentially so um essentially all you would do is go to olama.com of course install it make sure you have olama installed as well as whatever model you want and then you would create an open ai processor conversation config in your code ad admin panel so you would name it olama api key can be any string uh, api base url is right here so default for olama and then create a chat model option in your code admin so then you can name it like for example llama 3 replace with your local model and then model type and then the open ai config right um so that this is where you would select the config right here that you just made max prompt size you don't need to do um or this is the map replace with the max prompt size of your model so that's what you would put and create a server chat on your coach admin panel and then default model would be the one that you just created and the one that you just created and then uh go to your config and select the model you just created in the chat drop down so I showed you the open AI processor conversation configs. And then you would go to the chat model options, like it just said. You would go to add chat model option. And then this is where you would put that information. You can do like uh hugging face chat, you can do a llama, depending on what you're using. And then you would select this con open AI processor config, whatever one that you uh, set up. 
and depending on what you're using it would be open ai offline or anthropic and then you would just click save okay so as you can see there's it's just doesn't for me it just doesn't seem as efficient as some of the other tools that we've covered on this channel um it's kind of annoying for me personally to have to go back into this admin panel to do all this and it just kind of over complicates things i find but then after that maybe maybe that's just me you can let me know what you guys think um after that you can go to so after that you can go to server chat settings and then you can change the default to whatever one that you just selected and then click save and then you would just go back into your front end side of things and you would scroll down to in your settings into so settings is up here you go here and you would go to your chat and you would change it to whatever model you selected okay and just to cover a few of the other features besides chat we got agents and we have automation so i'm not going to dive and I, I believe there's search too so i'm not going to dive deep into showing you how to set all that up there is docs right here you can see setting up agents on the self-hosted version creating agents in the admin panel but as you can see for me personally having to create everything in the admin panel just isn't as efficient um on the uh self host or on the cloud version i believe it's a lot easier of course but um i'll leave links below for that but the one if you do create agents you i mean it's pretty basic as to say what agents are you know tailored agents for specific use cases and then um and then automations are essentially um basically automations that help you structure your time by automating tasks you do regularly build your own or try our presets get a uh, result straight uh to your inbox so these are kind of cool you can design automations create automations there's some dummy ones here that you can test out such as weekly newsletter daily bedtime story front page of hacker news uh, market summary so these are if you're um, wanting to set up automations that run on the regularly day to day or every monday or every wednesday so that's kind of cool and also too guys if you do use something like obsidian if you're familiar with obsidian it's sort of like a, a note taking tool where you can have it uh, hosted offline in your vault um Coge does have an integration with obsidian so it could help as well for uh to build more of a uh in-depth second brain so yeah i'm not gonna go over how to actually get it up into your obsidian but it looks fairly simple you just run this pip command and then install the Coge plugin into your obsidian vault and then there you have it so i'll leave a link to this as well if you are an obsidian user and you want to try out Coge. all in all i think it's a pretty cool tool honestly for me personally just with my first impressions and using it for a bit um i probably if i had to choose one i would probably choose lobe chat just because of the ease of use of it it's a little bit nicer of a ui in my opinion and i don't like having to go back into the django dashboard to or the django admin panel to have to change everything so let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below guys just wanted to share this tool with you guys real quick um and yeah if you got some value from this video make sure to sl smash that like button smash that subscribe button if you're new here we upload videos every single day on ai tools ai automation open source uh ai coding uh, marketing sales business growth etc so make sure if you want to stay tuned um hit that subscribe button to stay up the, uh stay tuned with the daily uploads other than that guys if you haven't already checked out and joined our free community stridecommunity.com link to our free facebook group and discord channel will be in the description down below guys other than that, I will see you in tomorrow's video. If you have any trouble with this or you have any questions or you want me to do a video on a separate tool, let me know in the comments down below. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.